What is up? Today we're going to make the biofilter or the box filter with plants in it. So stay tuned, I will show you how I make it as well as why and how I'm making it. Hey guys, my name is Cedric and welcome to my channel Vertigo117. Say hello to our two ducks. There are two wild ducks, they always come here. And as you guys can see, uh, my previous video I showed you the disaster of the pond. Uh, it's all doing great again. Okay, so we'll do a quick maintenance on the pump. So what I love the most about these pumps, um, this is the OAS Filter Clear 30,000. What I like the most is uh, the easiness of the maintaining. Uh, the maintenance is very easy. Uh, every week you uh, put it to um, backwash or clean to clean itself just need to put this one against the soil then it's preferred to cut the pump switch the van over to clean cleaning put and just pull guys and it's way easier now that I've gotten out one of the sponges go up and down like five times and then you can see look at that dirty water you wait until the water is clear it should be in just a sec now there you go, way clearer. Then you put the pump out again. Up, switch it to the other one, then it cleans out the UV part. So it cleans out first the sponges and then where the UV is sitting, as you can see, still a lot of gunk in it. And once that clears up, put it back to normal filtration and you're all done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. So that's all clear now. Put it out. Put it back to normal filtration. Put it back in. And there you have it. All done. Filter maintenance done. And now like every Meh. I need to clean it because there's a, a big bio load in the in the pond, guys. Uh, so I will have to clean it out like uh, every month, every month and a half, uh, to be sure that it doesn't plug up and uh, it doesn't pop out again. So that's it. Okay, uh, let me now take you to the big pond and uh, show you what's going on there. Hang on, and it's installed. The plumbing is done, as you can see, let me recap a bit, so it goes from in the pond, goes here, goes through the Bitron filter, then goes to the Biotech 30, through the brushes, from uh, big, um, takes out the big debris, goes smaller, up to the sponges, goes down under the sponges there's a void and then comes up here and this goes through the tubing up in this bin the old uh, filtration system I put the tubs at the bottom uh, to get a void and then I just need to go grab the stones and fill it up and it will be all done guys and as you can see this is the overflow if by any chance it would be blocked here the water can still run out through here into the pond and the water goes for the moment through this big pipe out into the pond oh they're all weak Okay, uh, let me fetch, let me go to the store and get the 
stones and I'll be back to you in just a sec. There you have it, all the bags. There are 14 of small uh, the small pebbles, medium pebbles and large pebbles. I would have preferred to go on bigger, but uh, unfortunately they didn't have bigger. I'll keep a few to show you guys how it works. So I'll, I'll grab a few out of each bag or each sample and show you how this uh, will work. Uh, let me put everything in. Ah, yeah. Before I put everything in, I've changed the incoming flow. I've put a 90 degree bend on it so that the water really needs to go under the 45 degree wasn't good enough so 90 degree it is and it will push the water underneath so yeah going to empty it halfway and then the water that will be still in it will clean out my rocks when I open this uh, clean out valve here so, okay, I'll get on to that. Okay, so everything is in opened up the cleanout valve and now it's just a matter of spraying everything down properly until there's no uh, what should I say dirt coming out of there anymore so I'm going to do this for a while until there's no dirt coming out anymore and I'll see you guys afterwards so I made a small cleaning station for the mattings and the brushes just put it on uh, I'll show you guys there you have it easy just put it on spray it off uh, preferably with pond water guys so not to lose any beneficial bacteria and uh, then just put it in take another one and uh, you keep on going like that as you can see takes quite a bit of debris out of the water so I'm going to do a quick rinse of everything and then I will get everything started up again up oh, it's all running a bit of water well, I might uh, add one more bag of stones keep like a small layer above the water level just need to see that I still can see the outflow the um, backup outflow in case uh, the water gets too high because it gets clogged or something like that and yeah so there it's up all running smoothly That's dirty, I didn't clean out the sponges, those I can do whenever I want. And yeah, let me explain how I, eh, not how I did it, but why I did the layers in this way and not the other way. Okay, so why are the bigger pebbles, stones at the bottom, then smaller and then the smallest? Now, as you can see, there are bigger voids or gaps in between the big pebbles. Then, as it goes more upwards uh, in the top, the, the voids get smaller and uh, the cracks get smaller every time. And that uh, polishes the water as well as uh, it has a good function of drainage. So when I want to clean out this bin here, I just need to plug the drain hole and all the water will come down. And because it's very fine, finer to big, uh, no, very fine, a bit bigger to the biggest, 
all the debris that got stuck in between the stones will be flushed out as well. If you do it the other way around, so small pebbles, bigger, biggest, all the debris will be stuck in there. It will become very hard, very thick, and I will almost not be able to get all the debris out. That is why uh, you go from bottom layer big, uh, smaller, smallest. Also, uh, in this layer, the plants that I will put in next week uh, will have it easier to get their roots in. The spaces in between are uh, much narrower, just a bit like uh, in dirt, but I'm going to clean off everything from the plant roots so that they can cut, they, so that they will have to get all their nutrition from the water and not from uh, dirt or uh, anything like that. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, don't forget to push that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching.